My new album is called Under the Stars and it features a selection of romantic pieces for violin and orchestra that I chose um, because they were the pieces I used to listen to uh, growing up. They were the pieces that sort of inspired me to pursue the violin. They were arrangements made by great violinists and um, the recordings I used to listen to of Heifetz and, you know, Menuhin, Oistrach, all these guys playing these pieces each one sounded completely different, despite the fact they were playing the same piece, because they were able to imprint their unique way of playing on the music. And, uh, and I think in this particular um, repertoire, you're able to do that in a way that perhaps you can't um, when you're playing the Beethoven concerto or Mozart. It's a different sort of thing, because you want to have a cleaner sound. Um, and so it's fun to be able to engage with that uh, myself. The concept of any album needs to have some sort of a coherent theme, and the theme of this is very much the early 20th century encore. The repertoire of Fritz Kreisler, Jascha Heifetz, the violinists from the golden era of violin playing, um, and, um, and I suppose making my own personal collection, the pieces that I particularly love, you know, Brahms' fourth Hungarian dance, my favourite one, which is not necessarily the most played of all the Hungarian dances. And the Carmen Fantasy by Hubai, um, it's not necessarily the most obvious Carmen Fantasy, like the Sarasate and the Waxman, but it's, um, it's actually my favourite um, of all those um, Carmen arrangements. So uh, it's personal to me in terms of the choices of pieces, but they all fall under um, this umbrella of um, kind of Edwardian encores, I suppose. The name of the album comes from the title track on the album, Under the Stars, which is um, a funny little piece that I discovered on YouTube, of all places, played by Fritz Kreisler. Um, it's a cover of a music hall song um, from the time, um, the early 1920s, that um, Fritz Kreisler arranged for violin and orchestra. And it's such a charming and romantic um, piece, and the title fits the style of the music, so I just thought this represents the theme of the album. The bonus track on Under the Stars is a piece called Canopy that was written by me. And that's very exciting because it's the first piece that I've ever written um, for string orchestra. Um, and I look forward to hearing what you think about it. <laughs> it definitely um, whetted my appetite to do more, um, more composition myself. Um, I really enjoyed the process of, you know, firstly, you know, getting an idea, expanding on that, and. Uh, and then coming in front of the orchestra and actually hearing the musicians bringing it to life. Because, of course, you can have an idea, you can write it on paper, but the music only happens when the musicians come in front of it and add their stamp. So really a composition, you know, it, the circuit is only completed with the performance of the, music, of the musicians. And, and so that whole kind of process from start to the moment that we were in the, in the church, as it were, the studio recording, um, it was just thrilling. Um, I think that it is an album that everyone can enjoy listening to um, on some level. And, um, you know, I think you've got to play stuff that you believe in. It's play stuff that you feel you can feel completely sincere in the way you're playing it. You can give all of your integrity to the music. And I can with this music, and that's why um, I chose to do it. And I think that message that you give to the music is what will speak to people. <laughs>